been called according to his purpose. You've been called according to his purpose. And he didn't ask you how you felt about it. Just like he didn't tell you what gift you wanted. Some people, when you see people functioning that gift, they make it look easy because they get it. But you get up here and try to be what I'm doing. I think moms would be the word. You'd be up here. Now I'm sweating because I'm acting. But you'd be up here. Your brain would be flatlined. I watch people get up here, boy, they just brain just go blank. But see, I can do this because I've been doing it. And this is my gift. I can do the word. This is what God called me to do for your sake. Because you're going to be accountable for the word that you hear today. Hello? You've been called with a purpose. Come on, Reggie, you've been getting it every day. That's Reggie right there, y'all. Look around. See Reggie? Amen. See Reggie? There he is. He's a pistol like the rest of y'all. <laughs> He'll tell you, I ain't well yet. <laughs> And I'll turn around and say, I'm not either, Reggie. Yeah. I'll tell him, you know, I'm sick, Reggie, but I'm just not as sick as I used to be. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Because I don't want, you know, you know, I ain't talking about nobody, but, you know, my pastors messed me up. Because they were standing up here where I'm standing at, and they were standing up here in the pillar of strip. They never lied. They never cheated. They never was tempted. They never yeah. was anything. <laughs> and I'm sitting up there thinking that I got to be like that, and I'm a wreck. I'm acting like there's something wrong with me because when I look at them, they look like they got it all together. They don't, they're not tempted. They, they ain't got no weaknesses. Uh, they ain't got no trouble. They ain't got nothing. And I'm struggling on the inside. And God said, you better not do my people like that. You better tell them. You better tell them that we all struggle. That's why we have the story of Jacob wrestling with the angel. Wrestling. Life is a wrestle. Sometimes you get pinned and sometimes you pin some stuff, right? You don't just get over something yesterday. Come on. Come on. See, because you, through your actions and appetites in life, develop your appetite. If you want to get with God, you got to go with God so that you can be with God. If you're standing out talking about you're going to go with God, you're not going to go with God because you're standing there talking about going with God. You got to be ye a doer of the word and not a hearer only. The Bible said deceiving your own self. Thinking that all it takes is for you to listen to the word. No, there's power in the word. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't believe that word. I stepped out doing this on God's word. And I know that today at the end of it, boy, it's going to be a fight to the finish. The Bible said that the devil is increasing in his evil activity because he knows that he has a short period of time. And guess who the subject is? Say me. The Bible said that Satan just come to kill, steal, and destroy. He's really at the marriages because marriage is the only thing that exemplifies God's marriage to the church. Oh, oh y'all missed that, huh? Why do you think he's trying to come between y'all, Reggie? Well, who will marry people? Why do you think he's trying to come between y'all? Because you are a representation of God in this church. Just like he said, the husband submit to your wife, wife submit to your husband. How is that like God? God said, as my bride, you submit to me. I submit to you by giving you what I gave you already. Everything that God did for us, he did it in past tense. He said, have done. Past tense. He already did it. So without faith, it's impossible to please God. I got five minutes and 39 seconds. I got five minutes and 39 seconds. I want to tell you how to win your struggle. Listen, I just did this in Bible study. Now listen, 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 listen. I want to help you before you go. Listen, you have spirit, soul, body. You got that? Say spirit, soul, body. Your body is the object of possession. If the spirit doesn't control your soul, your soul will live out its brokenness through the body. If your spirit doesn't control your soul, it can live out the spirit through your body. Yep, y'all missed that. Come on. That's why the spirit is so important. The Bible said that you were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Do you know what that means? You have the proclivity and the propensity to do something crazy. And you know what we do. All you got to do is watch the news. You got serial killers on the loose. You got pedophiles on the loose. What caused the 
those men and those women to get to that degree. It was what they created their appetite to be. And you know you just don't start off with weed. I started off with weed. Next thing you know, I was doing uh, KJ, Sherm. Sure. Oh, y'all. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Crack. Could never know. Come on. You know, like they say on TV, it just what one what enough. I got two minutes and fifteen seconds. I got to use all of them. Amen. But remember, the spirit has to control your soul. Because the Bible said that your soul is being saved. And your soul is the real you. It's what makes you you. The Bible said our bodies were formed from the dust of the earth and God blew in him the spirit of life. Come on. How are we like God? It's through our spirit. That's why the Bible said that whoever don't have the spirit of God are none of his. Why are you none of his? Because it takes God's spirit to help you in your soul. Come on. This is what the church needs instead of all that soul hype. Oh, in five days, you're going to be blessed. I got 58 seconds. Come on, two days, you're going to be blessed. Come on, it's your season. It ain't going to be your season if you didn't sow it. You have to sow a seed in order for a harvest to come. And the Bible said that God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. I don't want to bump the crop of disobedience. Come on. I done sold a whole bunch of unrighteous seeds and God taught me stuff. He said every time you plant a righteous seed, pick up an unrighteous one and keep on going down the road. Come on somebody. You got to turn the tide after a while because you're going to reap a harvest. Whatever you do. And how dare you? I got 38 seconds. Listen, this is a good one. If you ignore God here, don't think that you're going to all of a sudden love him when you get over there. That would be terrible for God to do to you. You don't want to be with him here. And he's going to take you to be with him for eternity over there. And you didn't want to be with him here. That would be an injustice to spend eternity with somebody I don't like. If you won't go after God here, don't think that all of a sudden you're going to transition and go after him over there. This is the practice ground. This is serious business. Remember, eternity is too long to be wrong. I got to get this right. I don't care what nobody do. I don't care who do right. Marnetta, you do right. Slap Reggie every now and again and do right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I know who Reggie is, boy. Woo. I pray for him every day. <laughs> we strong willed children. You know strong-willed children? I'm going to use up this five seconds I got. <laughs> you know strong-willed children? To have my way, I walk ten country blocks. Yes. Strong-willed. Reggie. Strong-willed. Reggie. <laughs> I'm messing with Reggie because he's going to give us something to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> hey, man, come on. We're standing. Come on, let's give God a hand praise. Hey man, we hope that something was said to help you on your way. Yes. Because my job is to create a thirst for God. Because the Bible said, yes. nothing but the pure in heart shall see God. Amen. And God said, blessed are they that do.